We're back! God damn it. Hey guys, what's up? So seeing as I found out gauntlets are fairly easy, I think I'm gonna do some gauntlets first. Let's do theater today. How's everybody been? Oh wow, uh, my TV is having such a mess of a time trying to figure out how this game works. See, I can already see somebody's over here. Although the red does blend in with the red so well that it's actually really messing with my ability to use the map. Which I can only foresee problems coming from that. I just hope my predictions are going to be wrong, but that's going to be a major point of contention later on. to help out too, probably. Yes, for some reason the grenade really lags out the game too. It's like that on the original version, it's like that on this version. I don't know why, but grenades just really mess with the game's frame rate. Zooming in is not the greatest in this one. Kind of common-ish problem that I've noticed with this game in, a, like in general. It has trouble doing certain things. And since the theater is empty up here, I'm actually going to go around the back of them. Try to take advantage of that. running up here using this projection area I swing around it nice three is gone going down to where three was No, I, but it's always in games that aren't horror games that like enemies just showing up out of nowhere and freaking out more. It's like, you know, if it's a horror game, that's kind of to be expected. Things are gonna be weird. But when the game is like, oh, it's fun paintball, then all of a sudden the enemies are like, there's oh, holy crap, there's a guy. one is down here. I don't know where that last flag is actually.
right now. Let's get some up here. By shooting over there, can I distract him? Huh? Swing around here. Pick up that. I don't know. I had this last spot, I guess. Oh, there it is in the back. I'm pretty much in the clear. Hopefully. Yeah, there wasn't that guy over here. Boom! Whew! Yet again, another one for I just having a freaking heart attack the whole time. Like, <laughs> it must be quite full. Cool. Funny for you guys just hearing a guy who like. <laughs> Must certainly not at all sound like if I'm just being really weird, right? Okay, yeah, this is just basically me being weird, man. Oh, yeah, the cannon way is the grenade launcher I was talking about earlier. The Widower is pretty good. The Granger LX I do quite like, especially for the AI. For some reason they just do really good at that kind of stuff. God. As of this game is gonna kill me one day. Just all the... <laughs> Well, there's a guy over here you can clearly see. Okay, so here's what you do. Control shift escape. In paint brawl. Activate paint brawl. Now it won't have registered that boss. <laughs> Yes, I admit to cheating quite heavily for that part. Hey, man. Uh, but for real, though, it's just mostly because of the fact that I didn't see the guy there. Eh. I'm sure I can do it next time. I know that guy's there, though, at the very least. I've been relying on my radar a little bit too much, I think. Really, dude? Like a dead guy right here. Rendled, rendled, rendered in very low polygon, mind you, but still. Just random dead guy. As you do. I 
actually recently heard a discussion on whether or not you should be able to, like, just jam out to video game music. And I have to say, I don't know what the complaints are, man. This game has some great music to jam out to. Now just a flurry of bullets flying in at him. He's gotta get hit by something, All right? Really good. Come on, dude, I'm practically raining hellfire down on you. You're just dodging it all. Love that. Okay, there's a guy standing out in front of that. Come on, what? Yeah. Please, boom. I remember actually playing Fairy Vest the first time and just not getting Gauntlet at all. I couldn't remember what it was this time around, but like I remember playing it a long, long time ago as a kid. I'm just not getting the point of Gauntlet. I'm being like, what is going on? Like, why did I lose? Because I wasn't. I didn't think that it had anything to do with me dying. I thought it was just. Oh, you know, like. Capture the flag, but. Like with unfair teams or something like that. Not realizing that the whole point of the game mode was that the teams aren't balanced. And like, if you got hit one. I was also super confused because the first time I played through this game, I actually made a team of five right away. And it just didn't really work out very well. I know there's one in there. Death from above! Why, but I almost always end up playing it like nice. Like I mean, I know that it's gauntlet and all, but like, boom, shot him dead. I always try to get the elimination, anyways. Distributing skill points, boosting my accuracy off, finding equipment, accessories, filling up on those, filling up on the gas, and filling up on these, my markers, the fantastic. <laughs> The full auto is pretty nice. Then the Avenger is super fun, it's just full on superpower. And finally Grim Reaper just Giving my allies uh, tournament stalkers. Or, ooh, yeah, Grange is pretty nice too. Uh, let's see. Next up, I guess.
center flag? At the junkyard. We've been to junkyard before. This is where that one level was. Yes. Honestly, a lot of the gauntlet stuff. I wish that every level had the option of being every, like, way. Just because it's so freaking intense. Also, look how fast the auto is, so. Now you see why I'm like, I don't want to give full auto to all of my friends, just because they will waste their bullets so fast. Okay, so. Sophia's, a, Sophia's doing pretty good, especially for an like fat level level A guy. Oh gosh, I didn't even see four there. I have to start getting, you know, a little bit more. Oh, oh my gosh, Sophia's actually going to do something? Cool. really impressed by the AI there, but then it just turned out to be nothing I said. See, I've heard people who say that, oh yes, they can't play like games like first-person shooters without mouse and keyboard. How many of you can't play first-person shooters without a only keyboard, though? My first experience with the Halo was actually kind of a weird one, where I was playing on a laptop, so I didn't really want to use the trackpad that was built in, and that was my mouth. Oh my gosh, are they seriously going to win this one? Seriously? Come on, let me respawn, man. Apparently I got too used to using the good weapon, too. And task. Yeah. Call it cheating, call it whatever you want, but this game doesn't let you re-challenge things after you lose, so I find it. For the proper, like for a speed run, you can't reset, you, you know, get what you get. Oh, Sophia. Hey. Ah, of course, darn. Darn devils. Them darn devils. Thank you. Hey. Even if they get it this one time, I'll ensure they don't get it again. Why were you not? Ugh. Yeah, sorry about that. I really hate it whenever he just decides that ah, I'm done. I'm just gonna refill. Yes, I didn't see. It's a little bit tough. I guess sometimes I cannot accept a failure for an answer. One I did one time just because I thought it was funny. I set the hits up to, I think, 5 or 10, whatever the max amount of hits was per kill. And I just, like, played through that, and I was like, oh yes, first to that many of them, like, the hits is eliminated. And I did a uh, gauntlet round, so I just Ow. ran through it because, you know. They aren't going to reasonably hit you that many times. 
So it made certain gauntlets super easy. In general, I wouldn't recommend playing through the game that way, because it is. Well, it's a bit cheesy. Still a lot of fun, though. Okay, let's push on through and just start. Oh wow, I hit so many people before he finally got through. That's fine, I've already got one, I just need to make sure they don't get the other. As long as Sophia defends that flag for a little bit, we're good. The one technique that I sometimes do, because it's fairly effective, I'll gather them all up, kind of trying to push towards me. I'm better just hiding out right here. They're all going to eventually come towards me. Which means that I can slowly back up, ensuring that not a whole lot of... They're not going to all be bunched up on the flag itself. Come on, Sophie, get the flag. Get the flag, man. You're right there, man. Get the flag. Yes. Come on, Sophia. Don't get hit. Get through here, man. I'm gonna be defending you. Boom. Now you see why it's nice to have at least one ally. Yeah, markers. So I can't actually upgrade. Can Sophia upgrade? Yes, you can get up to Tournament Stalker. Thunder Stick. As you can see, it's pretty nice. The big kuma. Now finally, the Grim Reaper is just fun. Next episode, we'll be introducing in a lot of people, so I'm just going to be saving up all my money from now on. Except for clearly buying ammo and stuff, but... Basically, I'm preparing for the next time when we have just a ton of stuff. Yes, this is Sentry Flag. Also, this is a map that I do quite like it being a center map one. It just feels really good to be playing a center map style thing here. Oh gosh, somebody hit me way far away. This is also one that I think it doesn't really matter if you're hit or not at, because you can always run across pretty fast. Oh wow. Again with the snipes, man. Okay, so maybe I should be worried about them, because they are really good at that. Get out of here, man. Nice. Let's go ahead and get some. Okay. As you can see, it's actually pretty decent at doing long range stuff if you just kind of treat it like that. Almost an artillery piece. Which I don't think was the intention behind that thing. But like, the artillery use is quite fun.
just a literal falling of bullets. Just basically a rain of arrows, but like with pinfalls. This is just a really fun map. It's so wide open that you really can do whatever you want here. Boom! Oh, I almost forgot to upgrade my stuff, so I'll just bump that up to 100. And then my evasion up. New equipment, accessories. center flag at the office. No, not that TV show. The office. Oh, that would be interesting to see what the game's interpretation of the TV show would be like. Yeah, a really good strategy if you've got the machine gun. Just kind of stand there and let it rip. Like, find a cutoff where they have to go through and just let it rip. Guarantee you, it'll always be a pretty effective way to deal with enemies. Gosh, I don't have to go through offices. Much like in real life, offices kind of suck. Navigate. Was there to grab the flag. Ouch. That's called camping, by the way. It's not a thing that we generally like doing in video games, but you know. Yes, generally in games it is looked down upon when you stand at one point and just constantly. Or like when you like kind of follow a person into a place that they can't really do anything about it. Especially when they respawn and they're already getting hit. I'm not saying it doesn't happen all the time, but still. It's generally less look... It's, it's generally not look favorably. Of course, that is distinct from, like, defending a position. Like, if, say, you are just kind of up on a hill and holding the hill, that's not camping unless it, the hill happens to also be the literal spawn point for them. Wow, right? Kind of deal with lag in it. Really, dude. These reds are just doing awesome right now, and I don't know how. They're just like suddenly proving way better than they should be. Oh, wow. 
that was so funny. Like, I decided, nah, I'm not gonna win it easily for my team, I'm going to attack you instead. And just basically gave me the win. <sighs> AI, man. People think that they're going to take over the world, man. That's crazy. Okay, new equipment, accessories. Then of course I spend quite a lot of top bolts every time. We capture the flag. This is one that's pretty easy to actually defend your flag on. Some of the other ones that is a capture flag, the flags are kind of placed really hard to defend. This is one of the few times where I think there's honestly no doubt that this is just a defensible place. It's, it's literally a castle. Gosh, dude, these guys are just sniping me, man. being that I still haven't even gotten to them yet. I think if this had like slightly better AI, this game would be honestly like a thing that most people would call a hidden gem. As it stands, there's its problems. Oh shit, dude. I said that about camping, but it sure as hell is spooky whenever the AI decides to spawn in on top of you. It's nothing which happens honestly way too often. Okay, we just take each other, which is pretty funny. Oh my gosh, dude, these guys are so good. What is going on? I thought this was medium, not like hard. Man, at this point, I don't think I can go back and make it in time to recover the flag. Well, I mean, I guess I could always try to do it the one way, where because I know that this game only five AI can spawn in at a time given any team, I could always just kind of cheese that a little bit. I'm sure that all the AI are somewhere that you can easily deal with and just avoid them. But that's not fun. It's far more fun just like fun than shooting them down as you're running along. Seriously, dude. Then they're gonna get covered with the flag again by the time I respawn. Oh, but apparently they're just going to enough.
Okay, dude, I got shot out of the out of like midair, which is pretty funny. But seriously though. No. Sure would be nice to have an AI who could help me out in a real fight. Really? How? He wasn't even alive anymore. Ugh. Of course, the enemy are already in the frickin' castle again, because of course they are. Again, I think I can probably be... That's a good way with it. What do you mean? This is so annoying. Yes, sometimes when the AI are starting to lose, they decide, oh hey, we're going to become actual gods of video games, man. Like, ugh. And I said this map is really cool if I could have actually. You know, like if you're playing it normally, but. It's clearly one of their favorite maps, too. I think it's one of the earliest maps, would be my guess. Like, as far as when they developed it. Because, unlike a lot of the others, this one is both A, you know, complicated, but also B, which I think is more important. Not just sort of randomly placed corridors, it's actually got a point to it. That's why I think it's fairly early on in its development. Come on, Sophia. In the frickin' fort, why don't you? Already that they're going to be coming up this way. I'm just going to be standing in. I'm out. Be ready to pick up that. Then I'm going to do a trick I forgot about. If you go up here, there's actually this like center pathy thing. And yeah, I almost never get up. So you being so high up just really confuses them. Not saying they won't ever figure it out, but. It confuses them long enough for you to make it out. Ow. And also yet again, the tunneling hallway effect is quite effective. Unequivocally better than before, but still. Also, it is quite amusing how the paint looks like blood here. Just really, it's honestly kind of hard to lose an elimination, but the other ways are really sort. So begins the Red Kong quest because this game does that to you. <sighs> it's like for every cool thing. For every cool thing that this game does, it also does that bullshit where they can 
instantly snipe you from literally so far away that your gun can't even be pulled out yet. And also, Sophia is apparently entirely useless, which is just weird. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, it kind of makes sense that the AI isn't the greatest here, but still. Get out of the way, Red. Actually, it's kind of nice because it means that's pretty easy to predict where they're going to be. I'm out. Yeah, the AI are somewhat predictable. I'm out. I'm hit. If you can figure out. Their primary patterns, they do. Oh shit. I'm hit. No one was my dad. Sophia are doing quite good at this point. Okay, that was not intentional. Okay, good, that was not intentional at all. And now everybody knows where I am and firing at me. So it's just the visuals sometimes don't spawn, so you can just be like, ah. And also the insane amount of just them never hitting you, or you never hitting your shot, apparently. But I said, sometimes the visuals just won't spawn quick enough, so you're just left wondering, wait, what the heck just hit- Oh, he spawned in afterwards. I think it has something to do with the video game the or something not being the best in the world. Yeah, it's an early game, especially on my videos. It's bound to have some problems like that. Either way, I think I can actually problem. Why? It's so annoying. Like, there's no reason why they should be truly invincible. Like to 99% of shots. I've seen shots hit them in the face. You see texture splatter go on them, and then they ignore it. And it's just like, why? How? I mean, it's a good game, but like, uh, yeah, I just cheat. Yeah, quite heavily at that. Oh. 
I'm going to go that dude. How did we manage to avoid that? That was a literal hail of bullets. I'm out. Now I finally think of it. Oh gosh, I hope I've done it because I've literally run out of bullets. At this point I have 103 bullets left in my gun. <sighs> Finally. Yeah, the stairs are OP in pretty much all video games. Finally, these two should be pretty easy. Military base. And Force Fortress are both, thankfully, fairly... Not the worst things in the world. Military base is actually the first ever map that I played at because... Well, I don't know why specifically. But, like, I just specifically remember this was the first ever thing I ever played in this game because I was playing it with Chip. I just thought this was so cool, man. Like, this was... I always did like the aesthetic of, like, the concrete-y places. Like, in Bustin' Out, one of my favorites was, uh, The Labs, because it has a similar-ish aesthetic. Okay, fair enough. And I just like that kind of concrete -y, science -y feel that these have. I do kind of find interesting too is that unlike some games, also probably how I would have designed it too, instead of it being like a circle, so it's actually more shaped like, you know, like each side is pretty unique. I feel like if I would have probably done a lot of mirrored stuff. Instead, this game actually holds back and does a lot of, like, unique aesthetics for each side of the world. I mean, hey, Flip and Mirrored is pretty much the go-to in gaming because it's the most fair, as people say. But fair is not always the most interesting. really get like a good little streak going and then sometimes it's just bleh, bleh, bleh. This map sure makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I 
this map really does sort of demand of you that you play super defensively. Which is sadly not the greatest in this game. Not saying it's not at all fun, but it's just... Yeah. It's so fun when you're just running around shooting people. Instead, it's like, hey, be defensive about it. It was so close. They needed one more, I needed one more, and I got it. Ugh. That would have been slightly embarrassing if I didn't pull through at the end there. Again, there, there are certainly times in games where the AI did not help you when you have a team. Forced attack. It's pretty much the winter forest, but slightly changed. But I mean like a lot of textures and even like whole assets of buildings and stuff are clearly just ripped straight from it. Hey, this is a budget title. But he never claimed it wasn't. Honestly, by doing this series, I'm mostly just hoping that somebody gets an appreciation for an often overlooked game and possibly the whole series. Still, I think I killed off like eight people on that one point. That was a pretty good little run. Ah. Yeah, moving on over here. Yeah, Elimination's biggest problem is you can do some of them so fast. Some of them take a little bit, but some of them are so fast, man. Which is perfect if you were just playing it, but if you're kind of trying to do anything at all. Like, if you're playing against friends or whatever, the fast-paced nature of elimination is great. There's a guy over here. Yet again, radar for the win. Wow, four eliminations for... Visit the trophy room. So I'm actually going to be buying up my alleys right now. Aha, yeah, see, this is the kind of guy I like. Click this. He will be idiot Mark. Oh, look at this guy. Fast Carl. Recruiting him as idiot Connor. And then evasive Vic. And be idiot Mike. So look at Quick Joe at ninety bucks for him. Well, let's get them some outfits. 
This is not Sophia. Chip. I feel like Connor would probably get it for the crazy look. The mic? Time we will be doing uh, a hell of a lot of gauntlets, apparently. Either way, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Peace out.